Hello children, in this video we are going to look at the prime numbers. As you can see that there are two lists available in this slide, list A and list B. If you carefully observe and look at list A, you find out that the numbers available in the list A have only two factors, whereas in list B, the numbers have multiple factors and these are came out by dividing that number starting from the possible smallest number like 4 is divisible by 2 and also divisible by 1 and 4. Similarly, 6 is divisible by 2, 3, 6 and 1. And for 8, 9, and 10, we have also divided these numbers with different numbers to find out the factors. And we observe that they have more than two factors with which they are completely divisible. So, what are basically prime numbers? Prime numbers are the one that are available in list A or you can define them that the numbers that are only completely divisible by themselves or one are called prime numbers. Now start solving for the question in the upcoming slides. In the previous slide, we have concluded that the numbers available in list A are the prime numbers. Now, what are the numbers called which are available in list B? These are composite numbers because they have multiple factors or more than two factors and they are completely divisible by themselves as well as with other numbers. So the prime numbers are the one which have only two factors and they are only exactly divisible by themselves and one. Whereas composite numbers are the one they, that have multiple factors and they are exactly divisible by one themselves and the other numbers as well. Now look at the question 3. There is a table given in question 3 with certain numbers written with red color and the other numbers are written with the black color. The numbers written in red colors are the prime numbers whereas the numbers written in black are the composite numbers. And a small girl is explaining that why 18 is not a prime number because 18 has multiple factors which are 1, 2, 3, 6, and 9. Which means that 18 can be divided by 2, 3, 6, and 9. Whereas... 19 is a prime number because it has only two factors, 1 and 19. You can also pick the other numbers and verify yourself by making the factors of those numbers. Let's say if we look at the number 14, we know that 14 is divisible by 2 and by 7 and the factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7 and 14. So 14 is a composite number. Whereas if you look at the 7, we know that 7 can only be divided by 7 and 1. So that's why 7 is a prime number. Now, come to question 4. 
which ask us to list the prime numbers between 21 and 50. In order to solve this question, we did some working. We have made the factors of all the numbers between 21 and 50, starting from 22 till 50. Now, you can observe in this working that there are certain numbers which have only two factors, like 23 and 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, and 47. So, Basically, these numbers are prime number because they are only divisible by 1 and themselves, whereas all the other numbers have multiple factors or more than two factors. So they will not consider them as prime numbers. This way, we have developed our list and fill out the empty spaces with the prime numbers. We will solve some more questions in upcoming slides. In this slide, we will look at the prime factors. In question 1, we have to express 24 as a product of its prime factors. Basically, the numbers, the smallest numbers with which we are dividing the number and reducing it to the 1 are called its prime factors. We divide the number till we obtain 1. There are two methods to represent this. Either you follow this method or simply this method. In both the methods, what we are doing is that we have the main number, which is 24. We have divided with the smallest possible number, which is 2. If, let's say, in a case, 24 cannot be divided by 2, then we increase the number and go to the other number. But we always, always start dividing with the smallest possible number. So 24 can be divided by 2 and the outcome is 12. In method 1, we have written 24 above and circle out the number with which we have divided it and written the outcome in front of it. Similarly, in the method 2, we have written 24 and start dividing by it is 2 into 12 is 24. Now, further dividing 12, we know that 12 can also be divided by 2 and the outcome will be 6. Further going down, we know that 6 can also be divided by 2 and the answer is 3. Now, 3 can only be divided by 3, so the answer will be 1. So, 3 is also a prime factor. So, we have the prime factor of 24 are 2, 2, 2 into 3. In this way, we have easily find out the prime factor or represent uh, 24 as a product of its prime factors. In the second question, we have to find out the prime factors of 64. What we have done is we have started off with 64, divided it with the 2, and the outcome is 32. We also know that 32 is divisible by 2 as well, so and the outcome will be 16. If you go to the second method, you can do this and with the help of the breakdown. As you know that 
2 into 3 is 6 and then 2 into 2 is 4. So, in that way, you have find out that when 64 divided by 2, the outcome will be 32. Similarly, 2 into 1 is 2 and the carry goes here. So, it becomes 12 and we know that 2 into 6 is 12. This is for the further ease. If you can't remember the big values. Similarly, we know that 2 into 8 is 16 and then 2 into 4 is 8 and then 2 into 2 is 4 and then 2 into 1 is 2. You can either go for this way or that way. The prime factors will be the same. So the prime factor of 64 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. And that's what exactly we did here. Now look at the question number 3 in which we have to write 108 as a product of its prime factors. As we know that we have to start with the smallest possible number, so we start with the 2. And we know that 2 into 5 is 10, or you can say that when 10 is divided by 2, the answer is 5. So we have written 5 here, and then we have 8. We know that 2 into 4 is 8, that's why we have written 4 here. So, our outcome is 54. Further dividing 54 by 2, we know that 2 into 2 is 4. So, 1 is going to carry here and it becomes 14. And we know that 2 into 7 is 14. So, that's why when 54 is divided by 2, the outcome is 27. Now, further dividing 27, we know that 27 is no more divisible by 2. So, we try 3 here. And we know that 3 into 9 is 27. Similarly, 9 is also divisible by 3. And then 3 is divisible by 3 as well. So, the prime factors of 108 came out as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now, we have another question in which we have to write 448 as a product of its prime factors. Similarly, we have started dividing 448 with the smallest possible number that is 2. We know that 2 into 2 is 4. And then 2 into 2 is 4. And then 2 into 4 is 8. So when we divide 448 by 2, we have 224. Further dividing, we know that 2 into 1 is 2. 2 into 1 is 2. And then 2 into 2 is 4. So our answer is 112. Now we consider this at, as one number and we know that 2 into 5 is 10. So the 1 is going to carry over here and it becomes 12. And we know that 2 into 6 is 12. So if we divide 1 by 2 by 2, the outcome is 56. Similarly, we have 2 into 2 is 4. So, 1 is going to carry over here and we know that it becomes 16 and 2 into 8 is 16. So, here we have 28. Similarly, 2 into 1 is 2 and then 2 into 4 is 8. And then 2 into 7 is 14 
and then 7 into 1 is 7. So the prime factors are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. In this way, we have simply represent 448 as a product of its prime factors. We are going to the next slide for practice questions. We have a questionnaire in which we have to circle all the prime numbers in the given table. What we did is we make the factors of all the available number and we find out that the number 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, and 79 are the one which are prime numbers because these all numbers have only two factors and they are exactly divisible by one or by themselves. All the rest of the numbers have multiple factors and are not considered as prime numbers. This is the last slide with the last question which is express each of the following numbers as a product of its prime factors. So, what we did, we have expressed each number with both the methods. The first one is that in which we have written 48, the given number, and start dividing it with the smallest possible number, which is 2. And we know that 2 into 2 is 4, and then 2 into 4 is 8. So, if the given number is 48, and we are dividing it by 2, we are writing its outcome is in front of it, which is 24. Similarly, we know 2 into 1 is 2, and then 2 into 2 is 4. And then 2 into 6 is 12, then 2 into 3 is 6, and for 3, 3 can only be divided by 3, so 3 into 1 is 3. We have write it in this format as well, and then we have written its prime factor which are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Same thing we did with 52. We know that 2 into 2 is 4 and then 1 is carried out and it makes it as 12 and we know that 2 into 6 is 12. Then we have 2 into 1 is 2 and then 2 into 3 is 6 and 13 is only divisible by 13. The prime factor of 52 are 2 into 2 into 13. For all the rest of the number, we follow the same practice and write their prime numbers this form. Hope you like the videos. In the next videos, we will cover more topic. The length to practice maths. The tip of solving the prime number is that you should be very good with the tables. It makes solving and finding out the factors easier. Thank you for watching.